existing one because when I just when I create a new one, when I load an existing one, it's able to know. populate all, right. all hey, of your crap. Go look at your fucking level constructor before you point fingers. I will crit. What would be in my level constructor that could possibly something do that? that fucking kills okay. it? I don't know. You have a fucking null pointer in there? Um, no. Three lines. These could even be in an, in, in an initializer list. There's nothing to do with it. Add level. Alright, well, first of all, did you add. No, it would be area you, in the first place. What? Did you instantiate an Elysian level before you did yes. area? Look, actually, and look at this. It is created on the stack. Right there. So it's pretty funny when Falco and Marcel argue, considering Marcel wrote everything for the toolkit and Falco wrote everything for Asset.io. So when everything crashes, they have no idea who broke it. No, no, no. Falco wrote the toolkit. No, he didn't, dude. You're a fucking idiot. Scroll down. Oh, fucking I is going to 12,346, and tile sheet that can only have 256. I know what it is. Scroll up. Are you kidding? I bet that was never initialized. Are you serious? Yeah. There's no initializer. Oh list. my god. Bring the camera over here. Look at this. Editor level. Look at his constructor. Nothing. Well, when you think about it, there's a million and one ways to screw up saving and loading. Files are being written to and read from, textures are being allocated, deallocated, and there's megabytes being shuffled about the memory. All of that is pretty intense. Alright, so due to all of the bitching that has ensued with the joint asset IO framework, we've decided to employ a joint asset IO debug framework so that both the engine and the editor can handle debug output and statements for critical portions of the code. So now, what he is saying is that when all of his crap yeah. crashes, I need a way to be able to walk it in QT that's completely separate from the way he logs it on the Dreamcast. That's now exactly the best way to go about this is to inherit from a virtual base class, I mean an abstract base class, so that I can implement it differently in the actual toolkit than he does on, say, the Dreamcast or PSP. He can wrap that to the debug output of console, whereas I can pop a cute little dialog box. So just by inheriting from our asset debug, you know, there's a virtual void function. The code pure doesn't, virtual there's void. a pure virtual void, so that his code doesn't care about how this is implemented. I can do it differently than him. However, See, the problem is, this is proposal number two, and Marcel's a dipshit. <laughs> with this method, every single asset would have to implement this. And the problem with that is that now you're introducing a vtable to all these assets, when there's really only going to be one debug log per thing. I propose a static debug function pointer so that we're able to register function pointers to handle this. It's the C approach. Marcel's is the retarded C++ approach. Gentlemen? When you have an opportunity to program in God's programming language, which is C, you do it. I'm voting for one. Why introduce the overhead of C++ when you can simply code it in C and get it done right the first time? I'm voting for proposal number one. I really have no idea what we're arguing about, but I feel bad for Marcel, so I'm voting for number two. Well, I hereby concede because due to popular demand, and I mean, I guess I couldn't have trusted Falco to deal with the complexities of object-oriented programming. Right, you know, <laughs> because a pure polymorphism is so anyway. much more complicated than a static function pointer. Just because that one's uglier doesn't mean it's more complicated. Alright, so we're about to check out the asset IO debug in the toolkit right now. Alright, so I'm running uh, the toolkit from QT Creator, the actual IDE. Uh, right. This isn't the release, but alright, so I'm loading a level. Give it a second, it's got to allocate a whole bunch of crap. But, uh. And internally, it's running the new debug that I implemented in the asset IO framework, right? Right. Yeah, it is. So hold on. If I go click back over to QT Creator, it takes a moment to load. Oh, you Here's the level, and then I click back over to QT Creator. Here it is. This is the entire debug log, all from Falco's engine. All this crap's Falco's. And it's integrated. So part of it's mine. Like these small comments are mine. Alicia level just loaded, and then these are all Falco's. It's just completely integrated seamlessly. It's pretty sweet. All right, so we've seen it in QT. Now let's take a look at the Asset IO's debug from the engine side of things. All right, so I guess I'm going to show it to you both on my Mac and my Windows 7 PC. Just so you know, I'm not full of shit. And right. It's actually in. 
I think the Mac will go first. Uh, so here's Xcode, build and run. Uh, default level in the engine. Cool. You've seen it before. Blah, blah, blah. So anyway, Command Shift R pops the terminal in Xcode. Uh -huh. And this is all debug output. This is every everything that's loaded, saved, serialized, deserialized. Every piece of data that's populating these classes or these components is now being displayed. So if anything ha goes wrong, bam, there it is. See, so you, you got the sheet file, sheet size, sprite size, sprite frame. Cool. All I'll kinds of information. Show us over here on your Windows machine. All right. F5, uh, Visual Studio, should be the exact same. We've got us a pretty little standalone console on Windows, and here it is. Uh huh. Exact same stuff. So. Well, goddamn. So it's like five in the morning, and we thought this would be the most appropriate time to unleash our most secret projects, which is Project Root. Uh, Project Root, if you've been following along on the website, is Dual Threat Studios Launchpad game. We're hoping to test our leaderboards and our medal system, which is similar to the achievement system on the Xbox 360 or the trophy system on the PS3, and use that to test all the back-end features of our website, everything uh, database communication using PHP scripts. All those types of things to give the users of our website uh, that fun community game atmosphere. So as you can see right here, I'm uh, playing one of my favorite games, Viva Pinata, and we're just kind of looking at the camera control and trying to mimic that inside of Unity. It's something that we want to do with Project Root. I won't really go into detail on why we're going for a camera style and control like this. I'll leave that up to you guys to figure out. But. Uh, Hate to interrupt, but real quickly, Falco, what the fuck are you doing over there? You're deving? How's that going? You reached the Bomber's Peak? Dude, I was at the Bomber's Peak like three beers ago. Dude, I think you hit the summit, dude. <laughs> I see. How's that descent? Yeah, so. This is Project Root. So it's been a couple hours, as you can see it's about 6 in the morning, I've been working on my toolkit and I'm about to go check up on how uh, Project Root's going out here. I think that I left them to that a while ago, Falco was, I think hit the Balmer Peak a while back. Hey guys, how's Project Root? Are you fucking serious? Oh my god, get this, every person here is passed out. That, that is the spirit of gaming. It hasn't moved, dipshit. You're supposed to tell me if I get off the scene. Go. All right, so we've been talking about the animation components from like a software development perspective for long enough now. Now it's like four in the fucking morning. We're about to sit down and actually create a component. What are you doing? Why are you like zooming in on me? What the fuck is your problem? Okay, so we've spoke, spoken, spoken, spoken. Okay, so we've been speaking quite a bit about the entire component system. Yeah. Personally, I enjoy referring to the Joint Asset I.O. framework as a C-shirt, simply because it's every bit as enjoyable as fucking everything up I ever said. Personally, I prefer referring to the Joint Asset fucking... <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> God damn it, what the fuck? I see it, what did you do? What the fuck? <laughs> so get this, he was gonna hold up his, his lines for this one. <laughs> Three full years I've slept away in my room, in my bedroom, late at night. I can't start with this. Is <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm away in my bedroom, in my bedroom. You guys are not going to believe this. It has been so long. Okay, okay. <laughs> It's been a year and a half, not so <laughs> A year and a half? Are hey, you kidding? Fuck it. Alright, stop. <laughs>